Sunday, and I was led to just share this word of caution with child or whoever needs to hear it. Whoever this is meant for, whoever hears this, this is meant for you. So um, last night I noticed that my water, my hot water heater was leaking, right? So I text the emergency um, property management people to let them know. And this morning about 6 a.m., the contractual HVAC dude, you know, text me like, hey, you know, I could be there in 20, 30 minutes. Cool. So he comes over and he's like an older gentleman, but everything that comes out his mouth is kind of like an inappropriate joke. Like, he don't know me like that. He, uh, like if you a black woman, he'll call you Shaniqua or he'll just say inappropriate stuff. But again, it's super early in the morning. So I'm kind of, you know, just like in my mood. But so he coming in though, firing off his inappropriate, awkward humor. And I'm just kind of, you know, letting him do him, I'm not really responding. I'm just listening because I'm a Libra. So only thing I give a fuck about is the issue at hand. You feel me? Like, I'm not for the small talk. Like, let's get down to business. You feel me? So he making these inappropriate jokes. And I guess because I'm not giving him the energy that he's looking for, you know, he make little comments or whatever, like, you know, ooh, you mean, or ooh, ooh, whatever. But whole time, I say that to say, the people that you know in your life that are always continually making jokes and trying to be funny and it's inappropriate, have grace with them. Because nine times out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten, they're that way because they're hiding some pain. And although I don't know that man like that, what I do know about him is that he lost his daughter um, unexpectedly and in a tragic way a couple of years, I guess some years ago. And she was young. I think she was probably in her 20s. And as a result, he's raising her daughter, his granddaughter, who is like eight or nine. So because as a therapist and because I know that about him, I know that his inappropriate humor more than likely stems from that. And as a high school counselor, I see it all the time. You know, the kids that's always funny, that's class clowns, always getting in trouble for doing inappropriate stuff, is because they're hiding pain. So I say that to say, like, even your friends that's always making jokes and funny, like, check on them and have grace with them because they're probably hiding pain and suppressing pain that you don't even know the half of. You know what I'm saying? So, and if that's you, if you're the person that I'm talking to, like, get some help. Like, talk to somebody that you trust so that you can get the help and healing that you need. Um, yeah, so it was just a little quick message that I had that I want to share. Have a great day. Sunday or whatever day it is when you see this. Mm -hmm.